So when I am creating a question, I'm going to the item bank, I'm creating a new item, and I'm going to make a, um, a writing item. And I'm going to do an essay with rich text. And I am going to enter my question. So here's the prompt. And let's see here. I have an, I'm going to go to the advanced options. And I'm going to enable the grading rubric. So if you're not seeing these advanced options, then you need to go to your profile and turn on the power tools. That's where that comes in um, for a few of these. Um, examples. So here I've got, I've selected grading rubric and then now it's presented me with two options. I can create a new rubric or I can use an existing rubric. So let's see what's out there. I'm not even sure. I know in the past I've written one for um, persuasive. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Good. Just perfect. <laughs> um, so I can grab one that I've already used. Um, and so I can look at it and preview it, or I can just clone it. And as you can see here, I've got a clone of persuasive writing piece. And that is um, something that you, you can just start from, start from one and just slightly modify it. So let's look here. I'll show you what it looks like. You've got the, and quite frankly, this is the first time I've seen it in our newest version. So I'm going to be looking through this um, as a new, with a new look as well. So I've got persuasive writing. I can put a description here. So then I've got the argument and I've got my, my rubrics set up. Um, so here, if you're doing standard space grading, you might want to um, set, set each one of these criteria up as a certain standard. So it might be, um, rather than argument, you might put um, like site, um, citing specific evidence or building a case or, you know, whatever, whatever makes sense for your state. Um, the grammar might be the language um, standards. And then, so this one looks good, I can just use it. But if I wanted to modify this a little bit, I'd clone it. And then I can add ratings. So I can add a fourth category. I can um, modify the descriptions or add descriptions here. I can change the names. So you can create one from scratch or you can take something that's already been created and modify it a little bit. Um, and then when you're ready to use it, you'll just save it and use it. And then um, you can either share this like you could an assessment in the library with your other colleagues, which is how I grabbed ones that already existed, or you could um, just keep it in your private library. And I'm going to click out of here. And so right now I've put clone of persuasive writing. Um, and so I've used an existing one. Um, otherwise, you can create one from scratch. And so we have this the step by step instructions in our knowledge base that you would get to by going here. And you could search on rubrics and it would give you those step by step instructions for building your own.